Alright folks, so let's talk about how to balance a chemical equation. Um, so chemical equation is just something that represents a chemical reaction and it is defined by an arrow. So what this arrow does is th that is saying everything on the left of the arrow is the before, the reactants that are mixed together everything that come to the right side of the arrow is the after of the product that is being made so um, let's just take a simple one so let's say if you have some carbon uh, in red and in black uh, reacting with some oxygen gas which is in red there and you form carbon dioxide pretty simple um, all right, how to balance this equation? Um, so, let's see, how many carbon do I have here? One carbon, so let's just say one box. Over here, one box. And how many oxygen do I have? Well, there's two oxygen, so let's just say two box. And over here, there's two box of oxygen as well. Now the difference between the before and the after is that this is all clumped together, these are separate. Okay, now there's one black box, two red box, one black box, two red box. So it looks like we good here. Now, but if I have, let's say, a different reaction where one carbon adding with some oxygen and instead of making CO2, I'm only making CO. Alright, carbon monoxide. So, same principle. You have one carbon, one carbon over here, two oxygen, one oxygen, or immediately you probably say, well, that doesn't make any sense. You have two red boxes over here, and you only have one red box over here. So, balance the chemical equation. All it does is just making sure that you have the same number of molecules on both sides of the equation, because during chemical reaction, you didn't destroy any atom. You're only rearranging them. So, let's say if there's two red box here, that means that of oh, this one red box here, and before the reaction, you have two red box. This means after the reaction, you must have two as well. Um, now, the problem is, whenever, after the reaction, whenever you have one red box, you have to have one black box stick to it, that's C and O. So, this means that there has to be two black box here too. Okay, so now it looks like both sides have equal number of atoms now. Uh, and how do we represent it on the equation? Oh, that's simple. So this is O2, 1O, 2O. Let's just leave it alone. We didn't change it. C, it's 1C, 2C. So I would say 2. C plus O2 making C CO and then another CO plus 2 CO. Okay, or well, you may say, uh, what if instead of writing the 2 over here, sorry, instead of writing the 2 over here, I write 2 like this. Does that work? I mean, there's 2C, 2O, 2C, 1C, uh, 2C, 2O. Well, that doesn't really get work because whenever you write a number after a letter, that means that the two atom is actually sticking together. So if you write like this, this thing mean that you have one carbon and then another carbon sticking to it. 
But that's not really right. You actually have two individual carbon that are reacting with this oxygen. This gets separate and then they recombine in this order. So this is incorrect. Incorrect. You have to say two like so. Okay?